hey guys welcome back to my channel in case you see this channel for the very first time my name is angel and i'm a blogger based in Lagos state nigeria in case you see this channel for the very first time please help me hit the red subscribe button let's become family and help me turn on your bell make sure your bell is turned on to this channel so that you get notified okay so guys with no further ado let's just dive into today's video good afternoon everyone my name is Professor Femi Olufumilade. I'm a professor of international relations and strategic studies with special interest in conflict and security studies. I am passing this message across to President Muhammad Dubuari, the Attorney General of the Federation and Minister of Justice, uh, Abubakar Malami. Both of them, we've been together for a long time as political allies in the days of the defunct CPC and even before then. And uh, even though uh, one is not part of uh, those who can, you know, take decision for the administration, one still feels that uh, one should be able to intervene with pieces of advice when it is most needed. Um, I want us not to view the arrest of uh, Mazin and the Kano leaders of IPOB as a thing to gloat or rejoice over. Uh, because um, I want to talk to you as an authority in conflict management, conflict resolution, conflict prevention now. And I'm putting on my cap of conflict prevention presently. Ma the Mazim Nam Dekanu, who was taken to custody, who later jumped bail, and uh, now lately arrested, is not the same Mazim Nam Dekanu of old. The Mazim Nam Dekanu in custody right now is one who embodies the hopes and aspirations of thousands, if not millions, of Igbo youths who are ready to follow him to any length. And we have seen uh, how he's been able to magnetize them to himself. Whether you believe in the logic of the cause he is advocating for or not, the fact remains that he enjoys a huge followership that are consequential as far as peace and uh, harmony, particularly the southeastern part of Nigeria is concerned. So I will want to plead with the authorities to be magnanimous in victory, victory in court, and to go beyond that to see how a window can be opened for dialogue uh, so that whatever the grievances of uh, his followers are, you will be able to uh, resolve it amicably. But if you stand on the ground that they are terrorists, they, are, they should be treated with uh, iron hand, well, I'm not sure we are going to see an end to this anytime soon. Because from my observation of the type of crowd he attracts, it's, it's quite electrifying, it's quite magnetic, and they are overwhelmingly large. And they are, I don't see them just running back into their cocoon now simply because he's been arrested. So I would rather plead that the federal government uses this opportunity to portray itself as one that can apply what President Obasanjo called the stick and carrot approach by saying now let us discuss uh, what actually is your problem I'm not talking of Unam Dekano as a person, I'm talking about the collective of Igbo youths and Igbo uh, senior citizens who are also quietly behind the scene uh, in support of the agitation by the IPOB members and I'm not talking about this alone. I'm also talking about Yoruba youths and elders who are also rooting for Dudua Nation. 
and they run into their millions too. You only need to take a look at the crowd they draw each time they go on the street to protest locally and even internationally. So if anyone sits in a comfort zone and say, these are charlatans, these people don't know what, they don't matter. Uh, well, it's like uh, postponing the evil day. Because the caliber of Yoruba people that I have seen coming out to protest locally and uh, internationally include professors, lawyers, engineers, top medical doctors, some of them medical, first-rate medical consultants. And I'm not talking of a dozen uh, crowd or a, a couple of hundreds. I'm talking of thousands, particularly in Western nations. So, President Muhammad Buhari, this is the time for you to uh, put any form of inhibition aside and open the door for dialogue. Don't let any of your aid, any of your assistance, make this an occasion for uh, passing across provocative messages on the social media. See what has happened to Nam Dekano. You, his followers, you will see what will become of you. That will be terribly counterproductive. And I'm not a soothsayer. I'm not a member of IPOB. But I'm a social scientist and a, an observer of trends in Nigeria. And I know that the crowd I see that these guys pull, this uh, Nam Dekano pool, some of them are highly educated, sophisticated. The idea that they are all, uh, you know, illiterate traders is not true. Some of them are highly placed people. So we should not allow this to uh, produce another form of Boko Haram. You know, Mohammed Yusuf was arrested too, similarly. And uh, we don't know what happened. We, the next thing was to produce uh, his corpse, and then it was like the end of Boko Haram had come. And then before you knew what was happening, uh, an Abu Bakr Shekau was upon us. I don't want an Abu Bakr Shekau in the case of IPOB. I want whatever grievances IPOB members have to receive hearing at the presidential level. And after all, the Miyeti Allah, despite the atrocities its members are committing across the country, killing, maybe destroying farms, and they keep talking and uh, defending their people, they have not been taken to jail. They, they rather the federal government is talking about reclaiming uh, grazing routes for them. So in a way, federal government recognizes that they have some legitimate claims. And whether the method the president uh, wanted to use to, uh, to solve their problem is right or wrong, the fact remains that he gave them a hearing and he spoke uh, in a way that will suit their nerves. Why can't President Buhari extend the same to all groups agitating? It's not just IPOB. In the East there you also have Masob before IPOB, and Masob is still there. In Yoruba land you have OPC and so many other groups that you don't even know exist. And then in the Middle Belt, the same thing. And then the South South, of course, you know of the Avengers, you know of the various, various groups there. So people are unhappy. A lot of people are dissatisfied. And it's not limited to Middle Belt and the South, even in the North. It's not uh, everybody that is an establishment person it's not everybody that is happy, even with the Buhari administration. It's not every Fulani that is happy. Why can't we have a national dialogue? President Buhari is teaching time, saves nine. God bless every lover of peace and progress listening to this.